if you forgot how to evaluate expressions, I've got you covered. Let's go! Here's our expression. We have two variables, x and y, and we also have the numbers for these variables. x equals negative 4. So we will take negative 4 and plug it in for x in two places because x shows up in two places y equals 6 so we will take 6 and plug it in for y and then we are going to calculate let's go when you see numbers and variables are so close together it means there is multiplication between them now let's plug in our numbers five times our 4 came with a negative sign, so be sure you use parentheses where, when you plug in negative numbers. x here is raised to the second power, so we are raising a negative and 4 to the second power. If you don't use parentheses, you may accidentally raise only 4, only 4 to the second power and forget about the negative, so be careful. Minus here came from the expression, so rewrite it. And then put negative 4 where x is. Very good. Then plus 2 times. And inside the parenthesis we have y. So take 6 and put where y is. So 6 minus 1. Very good. So we plugged in our numbers. Alright, next we are going to calculate according to the order of operations. What operations do we see? We see multiplication, raising to a power, subtraction, addition, multiplication, and we have parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have subtraction. So first, we must do what's inside the parentheses. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So this whole thing is 5. Now let's rewrite and see what our next step is. Very good. 5 times negative 4 squared minus negative 4 plus 2 times 5. Very good. Next, we must take care of this exponent. We have negative 4 squared. So negative 4 squared means negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16. Be careful when you see negative 4 raised to the second power. Do not accidentally multiply negative 4 by 2. It is not correct. Negative 4 squared means negative 4 times negative 4. All right, let's take 16 and plug it in here. So 5 times 16. And then we have minus negative 4 plus 2 times 5. We're almost done. Is this video helpful? Show me your like and subscribe so we work together as a team. Next, we must take care of multiplication. 5 times 16 is 80. Very good. Minus negative 4 plus, and let's multiply these numbers on this end. 2 times 5 is 10. Very good. Almost done. Almost done. Look here, we are subtracting a negative number. Minus a negative 4 becomes a plus 4 because minus a negative becomes a positive. So we have 80 plus 4 and then plus 10. Almost done. We can totally add these numbers together. 80 plus 4 is 84 plus 10 is 94. Very good. Our algebraic expression became a number. So... We plugged in the numbers, and then we calculated, and then we got a number or a value at the end. So that's what it means to evaluate an algebraic expression. Plug in the numbers, calculate, get a value at the end. You did a good job today. And now be encouraged by the words of Apostle Paul. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Keep up your good work and I will see you next time.